What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and we finally have confirmation of Ratchet and Clank's opponents. I mean, we all saw it coming, but I wanted to wait just to make sure. It is Jack and Daxter. Now before I get started, for you early access members or those who get to find out early, please don't spoil it for me. I cannot tell you how many people spoiled Bowser vs. Ganondorf for me. It was really annoying, and I wanted to see what they'd say for myself, even though they fell for Ganondorf's No Limit Fallacy. Now, as for Ratchet and Clank versus Jack and Daxter, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into Ratchet and Clank and say they far outclass Jack and Daxter in raw destructive capabilities, and they have a wider arsenal. I mean, Jack does have some morph guns and a few weapons, but Ratchet and Clank take it to a whole new level with how many weapons they have. It's it's actually kind of ridiculous. Uh, so they do have the far edge in raw destructive capabilities and arsenal right from the get-go. Uh, Jack, however, he does have uh, two transformations with quite a few good helpful abilities. For example, Dark Jack, he, his transformation alone can like cause water to go crazy, it can cause the ground to shake or whatever, so it does have environmental effects, just not in a very wide radius. So his transformation certainly is powerful, there is power shown in it. Uh, and Dark Jack has invisibility, dark bombs, uh, this is a no limits fallacy. But there is an invincible mode for Dark Jack. Like, the only way he can die while in that mode is if he, like, falls off a cliff, falls into Dark Eco, or gets completely crushed or whatever. But it is called Invincibility, and he doesn't take damage while using the form and using that move. And normally I wasn't going to include that because it was a no-limit fallacy, but we've seen Death Battle fall for those quite a bit. Uh, Light Jack. He, ha he can slow down time, which Clank can also do, so those might cancel it out. Uh, cancel out each other, because it's not a difference. Like, which time is way better than Dante's Quicksilver, you know, yada, yada, yada. So there's no reason those two should counter each other, because which time is better. But uh, Jack Jack's and Clank's slow down time thingy, uh, they seem pretty similar. They're pretty equal, so those actually might, those actually seem like they would cancel out each other. Uh, Light Jack also has regeneration. He can heal all of his health, uh, depending on how much Light Eco he has left. And he also has, uh, he can fly, and he has a shield uh, barrier type thing, which actually does damage his opponents if they try to attack him with his barrier up. So that could come into play as well. Now as for who I think is going to win, Ratchet and Clank definitely have the edge in destructive capabilities in Raw Arsenal with all their weapons, but I do think Jack does have what it takes to slip by with his flight, his regeneration, his invisibility, his time slowdown, even though that could be cancelled, and if they fall for the No Limits fallacy, then it's, it's, well, you can, that's a guaranteed win for Jack if they fall for that. But yeah, I, I do think Jack and Dexter can do this, even though it'll be very, 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 very difficult. So it's a very close match, an extremely close one, but I do think Jack can take the cake. Don't get me wrong, Ratchet and Clank are definitely a force to be reckoned with, and it's going to be a very tough match for Jack and Dexter, but I think they can handle it. So that's who I think's gonna win. Don't spoil it.